Hey there guys, it's Liz here. Happy hump day. Thanks for hopping on and joining me. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from as I talk to you about the seven steps that you can take to naturally cure your hangover biohacker style. This was actually inspired by one of my previous clients that did customized coaching with me. We were talking a couple weeks ago and she was like, I actually had just experienced a wedding and told her that I was a little bit hungover. And she was like, did you ever do a Facebook live on how to recover from a hangover or how to not get a hangover? And I was like, you know what? I put out my free fast food and alcohol guide that, that guides you to you know, take your uh, drink choices and fast food choices in the smartest way possible so that it doesn't wreak as much havoc on your body and on your goals. But I never actually did a Facebook Live on how to make it so that maybe you don't get as bad of a hangover. So thank you, Miss Lauren Moraine. I will be tagging you in this afterwards. Guys, do me a favor. And as you're hopping on, let me know what your biggest like hangover cure is or like the craziest one is that you've heard of. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you like the top seven or eight that I like read. Like if you Google it, it is crazy how many different hangover cures that are out there. So I'm going to bust some myths for you guys, things that you may think actually do help a hangover when they really don't. Um, and yes, Jill, you do have this sweatshirt. I love it. I'm so glad you like yours. Um, and then I'm going to tell you guys what like the biohacker would do. Okay. So what I do in order to be able to kind of prep my body when I know I'm going to be drinking, what I do while I'm drinking and what I do after the fact, you know, the next morning that helps me. I'm not somebody that drinks very often. I'm a total lightweight. And so honestly, my body doesn't do that well with alcohol. So if it's working well for me, it's probably going to work well for you. <laughs> so the first myth that you guys are probably aware of is um, drinking more in the morning, right? How many of you guys have heard of that? Drop a two below if you've heard of it. Guys, drop a one below if you don't have my free cravings guide um, or my free uh, fast food and alcohol guide, and I will give that to you. I wanted to tell you that earlier. So I've made that several months back, and I'm more than happy to send that to you guys. So drop a one below if you guys want that. But drop a two if you are someone that has heard that drinking more in the morning, like my husband, that drinking more in the morning... <laughs> is actually going to help your hangover to go away, right? So in in a sense, it can be true, right? So your body's having these withdrawal symptoms when you're having a hangover. That's part of the reason why you're getting it. So if you're going to go and start drinking again, it's going to kind of delay the process of a hangover, but eventually you're still going to get it. So it kind of works. It's like six in one hand, half a dozen in the other that yes, it's going to kind of prolong it, but eventually you're still going to get the hangover. So that can kind of work, but it's kind of a myth in a way, depending on how you look at it. The next one, the second one is a greasy, salty breakfast. How many of you guys do a greasy, salty breakfast or like meal the day after you drink? Drop a three below because I know for me, it was Sonic. When I was in college, that's where we went. It was like Sonic or some people went to like, we went to the diner sometimes. Guys, the reason that that is, it, it's not technically going to like get rid of your hangover. It's not a cure, but it slows down the absorption of your alcohol. And so the fat and the salt, you know, the salt's helping to like replenish your electrolytes a little bit. And the fat is kind of slowing it down from being absorbed and having you feel as deep of a hangover um, pain as you would if you wouldn't have had it at all, right? So Kayla, yours was sheets. Yes, exactly. Everybody kind of has their go-to. So it, it doesn't cure the hangover, but it kind of can, again, delay the process. I know, Trisha, you said water, water, water. I'm going to get into that in a second. And as far as pain medications, I know you just were talking about Excedrin. We'll talk about that too. Guys, the third one is pickle juice. How many of you guys have heard that pickle juice or like prickly pear extract actually is going to is supposed to, there's no scientific evidence behind a lot of this stuff, but it's supposed to get rid of your, of your, um, of your hangover symptoms. That's because of like the vinegar and the salt, um, and like the fermentation or whatever that is in there. That's another one that's out there, but here comes the interesting ones. The next five, like literally blew my mind. <laughs> so apparently, and I'm not trying to offend anyone that is Puerto Rican, but this is what I just read. I'm just letting you know, you can tell me if it's true. I read on the internet, so it has to be true, that Puerto Ricans reportedly rub lemons, like they will take a lemon and rub it in their armpit, and that's their way of not getting a hangover. So that's number four. Number five is something called a prairie oyster, and it's actually where you take an egg and you mix it in with a Worcestershire sauce. I never say that right, but if anyone, does anyone else have an issue saying that word? I can never say it. Worcestershire sauce, you know, the weird sauce that nobody can say the word, and then salt and pepper. You put the egg, the Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, and you just drink it down, and you can't break the egg. 
So that's a prairie oyster. Then you have the Hungarian cure where they say that you should take sparrow droppings, which is a freaking bird, sparrow droppings and put it in brandy, swallow that down and that's supposed to cure it. Then you have the South African cure where they basically, they want you to melt like a sheep's stomach in with moonshine and beer and whatever wine you have in your house and that's supposed to cure that. And then the last one, uh, apparently created by the Italians, I'm gonna ask my husband if he's ever heard of this, is dried bull penis. And that's just kind of enough said because apparently it needs to be dried and then you just take a slice of it and eat it and it's supposed to be a hangover cure. So those are the myths that I've heard. Guys, drop a, a comment below with whatever the the myth is that, or you know, maybe you think it works for you. Let me know what you think works for your hangover cures. Is it greasy food? Are you taking shots of pickle juice? Are you just eating pickles all day? Are you like, are, you know, you going to Sonic? Like whatever it is, tell me what yours is, drop it below. But for me, what I've noticed that I have to do, especially because alcohol reeks such havoc on my body is I do a couple of things. So number one is I will double up on my little yellow pill. So my Nerf 2 Synergizer. So if it's something that reduces the oxidative stress in your body that clearly you're increasing when you drink. So doubling up on that, I, I swear you talk to so many people that take this, they say that they don't have as bad of a hangover. I'm not saying it totally gets rid of it. Some people say that, but for me, it definitely just helps. So that's number one. Number two is I actually mix all of my beverages with Axio, like as much as possible. So that is, I actually have one sitting on my desk right here. This is like the decaf version. So I will like especially if you're drinking late at night and I don't want to be like totally wired off the wall This only has like 20 milligrams of caffeine But I'll take my water or I'll take my like the seltzer water and I either mix in vodka or you know Whatever your drink preference is and I'll mix Axio with it And the reason why this works is because it has different ingredients in it like you have the B vitamins That's huge to be able to um, you know, like suppress any issues or um, um, You know out balance the, the issues that you would have with alcohol or the effects of alcohol and then you have like DMAE, pine bark, just a bunch of things that help to support your body. That's the key here so that you don't have as bad of a hangover is supporting your body in other ways. There's a lot of these like who wants to swallow a raw egg? Who wants to eat a dried bull's penis? Like not many people. So supporting your body with other things like your little yellow pill or mixing Axio in your stuff, I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. The other reason that I like having Axio in there or maybe I'll use like sweet leaf stevia drops or something like that, like a water enhancer is because I'm mixing it with water and I'm not getting dehydrated as much. So if you can do that versus having your bottles of beer constantly or having like mojitos or daiquiris and things that are just like full of sugar, it's going to be a lot easier for your body to recover the next day. Um, pro bio, making sure that I take my balls all the time because usually, I don't know about you guys, guys drop a four below if you feel like when you drink, your sense of trying to eat healthy at all goes out the window, right? Like, I mean, I usually have a decent sense of it. Some people are like, I'm always like that, whether I'm drunk or not. But for me, it makes a big difference. Like, I'll just be like, give me all the pizza, give me all the burgers. Like, oh my God, my first year in college, I literally was like, they had the people that went around the dorm rooms like late at night on a Friday night and were like, oh, do you want to buy pizza for, you know, $2 a slice or, or pretzels? And I like ate everything. Like I literally had no judgment whatsoever. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure, you know, especially like I, I had freaking gluten the last wedding that I was at. And like, I definitely should not have had that, but I was like, oh, Philly pretzel. Like <laughs> that sounded like a good idea. I made sure I took my probio because if you're giving your, your gut the right type of probiotic, you'll be able to deal with all the sugars and all the crap that your body already has an issue dealing with. It's going to deal with it a lot more easily, right? So probio is the next one. Picking drinks that don't have a ton of carbs and sugars already in them is also helpful. You guys may have heard, and I read it a couple places that if you like drink or eat sugar while you're drinking, that it's going to help you metabolize alcohol faster and you're not going to have as much of a hangover. In my experience and experience of like a lot of my clients, that doesn't work so hot because your, your blood sugar and your insulin are all over the place from all the sugar that you're having. And so you're just dropping anyway, like it's throwing your hormones off even more. So I would just say, try and go with things that's like natural water enhancer, flavor enhancer, so you can get the sweetness in your drinks. If you're somebody that doesn't want to drink, you know, I don't know, something on the rocks that you just like, you can't even swallow it. You can still mix it with something, but try not and do like the strawberry daiquiris and like all the different flavored margaritas with those strong syrups in them. Cause it's going to be that much harder on your gut and on your hormones as well. Um, what I like to do as far as like salt, if you're thinking about, okay, well what's my transition so that I don't have to go to Burger King or Wawa or Sheets or Sonic or whatever the next morning. 
I personally like doing bone broth. So if you get like organic bone broth, it's not the same as like chicken noodle soup. It's not the same as chicken stock. It's bone broth and it actually has collagen in it. Um, so that's gonna help repair your gut. It Naturally, you can add salt to it or some come with salt in it. And it, it gives you that same benefit that you're looking for from like that greasy, salty breakfast that you want the next morning. So go and look for bone broth. Uh, Pacific is a brand of organic bone broth that's available at like, I think it's at like Target and a lot of different places that are out there. It's not as hard to find. Um, last, second to last, go with gluten-free liquors as much as possible. I'm a Tito's girl when it comes to vodka. Um, but if you just go to Google and type in gluten-free liquors or gluten-free alcohol, I think urban, um, urban like liquor, whatever, like you can see one of the first websites that comes up, there are lists and lists of gluten-free stuff. And the reason that I say that is not just so you jump on the gluten-free train, it's because when you're body like nobody's nobody is actually made to digest everything in gluten and so if you're having that in your drinks and you're already having alcohol you're putting so much extra stress on your body on top of that so just try and go with something that doesn't have gluten in it and that way you're not doing like this double whammy to your body guys there's so many drinks in there you wouldn't even realize it even if it doesn't say gluten free on the label of your bottle of like liquor or um, beer it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not so go and just type it into google and you'll have a full list and last but not least, guys, if you need to take a pain reliever in the morning because you got a headache or whatever's going on, um, honestly, you just really want, hey, Ash, thanks for hopping on, babe. You want to make sure that you're not taking Tylenol or something with acetaminophen in it because that's a type of pain reliever that actually has to be metabolized by your liver and alcohol has to be metabolized by your liver. So if it's trying to do both of those at the same time, it can really overload it and it wreaks havoc on your liver and on your body like crazy. So go for Motrin or go for you know Advil or something else uh, that does not have acetaminophen in it. So guys, hopefully this was helpful for you. Again, if you do not have my free guide to uh, smartest fast food and alcohol choices, drop a one below. I'm more than happy to send that to you guys. Hope this helped you to hopefully not have as bad of hangovers during the next several weeks during all of your holiday parties. So mwah, happy hump day.